Hello guys, it's another video from Androidica and in this video I will try to review a stable ICS or a CM9 ROM for the Galaxy Mini. As you can see up in the status uh, or the name of the video that is a stable ROM. Well it's true and it's the most stable ROM or the most stable CM9 ROM that I found for this device. It looks beautiful and it works beautiful and it's pretty smooth. However it has a few glitches like the GPS still doesn't work. The camera still provides pictures with the faded colors and somehow I'm having a little problem in downloading apps off the market, be it from the desktop website or right from the market app on the phone. So let's get started. As you can see, it's the home screen. There you have the apps over here. Now as you can see, it is almost 95% LDBI compatible. No icons moving out here and there, no misplaced buttons etc all fits and it all looks pretty smooth just like any other cm rom would be i would definitely say that this is a rom ready for regular usage like there's your app drawer as you can see the animation is pretty smooth no lag or delay over there like the previous cm9 roms as you can see now there are all my apps that i have installed now Let's open up the camera app. As you can see, it takes a bit of time. There you go. That's the camera app. And as you can see, there are no buttons to click a picture. All you need to do is press the power button over there and hold it until the red button box comes and then you leave it. Then you get a nice click sound and the picture is taken. To show you, I need to go back. there okay that's a bit slow over there so I need to go to gallery okay so I need to go to the camera folder and there you go is the pic that I just took as you can see the colors are a bit faded than the original colors of the bed sheet over here so that's a minor problem still with this device and as you can see I've installed a jelly bean theme over here and it doesn't give the interactive notifications like in jelly bean but it definitely clones the UI the jelly bean let's go over to system settings and show you about phone okay, we'll go down to about phone and there you can see is the Android version 4.0.4 and it's the CyanogenMod mod version is 9 and it's 10 10 2012 you can find a newer version update right from the XDA developers you can also find the download link for this ROM right in our description now one new thing that is working right on this ROM is the data usage if you open data usage you will see that it now finally displays all your data usage as per apps or how much each app is using as you can see my market has used 26 MB Facebook has used 8 MB and YouTube has used 7.52 MB now it is said that it is measured by the phone and the carrier data chart, data usage accounting may be different so make sure you are having a nice plan and that you are not overcharged now we can go over to the dialer app as you can see there is no misplaced icons or buttons over here all looks smooth and clean okay. there you go no animation lag you can that's the messaging app again it's all clean and beautiful let me show you the keyboard of this thing there you go that's a keyboard it's nice to use gives a pretty nice sound too on typing out new things okay now coming out the notification sounds are pretty loud and if you set your ringtone volume to the full you can easily hear it even in a crowded place which is nice as the previous Jelly Bean or the ICS ROMs would give a low sound notifications. 
now that's the music player as you can see it comes with the default Apollo music player it looks like the Google music player and it well it works pretty fine it does come with DSP manager settings and gives a pretty nice audio playback let me play something for you uh, okay let's just play that as you can see over here it gives a customized sound panel that's for your media that's for your calls notifications and alarms now to change the settings okay, let me just stop that okay we'll head over to system settings and we'll go to sound and volume panel if you select expanded you will get the expanded view of it of all the four sound settings expandable will give you an option to expand when you increase or decrease the sound levels and the single will give you the normal or one that you could see every time with every other android or so i like the expanded version so i'll keep the expanded version over here as you can see it's all much the same nothing to show over here you can head over to the performance department and make some tweaks so that your device performs faster like here you can see i overclock my cpu to 729 megahertz does help the performance increases and doesn't much harm the battery so i like doing it so that's pretty much about the rom and as you can see it works pretty well but let me show you the gps thing okay let's switch on the gps there you go the gps is on now if i head over to maps you'd see that after searching for a long time it will still show that my location is unavailable there you go it's waiting for location and it will search for some time and it will give that location is not available so if you are okay with the gps not working and a bit faded pictures of the camera i would definitely say that this is a rom ready for daily usage thank you for watching and please subscribe us for more such videos and remember if you need a link for any or anything please don't post it on youtube please visit our facebook page and request for it as we can't really help you with any links on the YouTube comments. Thank you for watching.